okay, class, today we're just going to be learning to distinguish the mean, median, mode, and range in a data set. So what I want from you to be learned by the end of it is to successfully calculate the mean, median, range, and mode. So I'll go through each of them for you. The first one is mean, then we have median, mode, and range. Uh, I'll probably start with median. Does anyone know what main median might mean? Yes. It's the middle. Middle number, yes. When data set. In ascending order though. So from smallest to largest. Uh, what's one of the other ones someone might know? Yep. The mean is the average. Good. Mean is the average. Do we know how to work out the mean? Um, not sure. So we add all the numbers and then divide by how many we have. Um, what about the mode, maybe? The most occurring. Good, most occurring number. And lastly, the range. Not sure. Not sure. That's right, the range is the difference between the biggest and the smallest number. So we'll get the biggest number and take away the smallest. So I've got a set of numbers for you. And I've put them in order for you. Um, who can tell me what they think the mode might be, the most occurring number? Their number that is there more than once. Yep. Three. Three, good, because there's three <laughs> twice. Every other number just comes once. So our mode is three. What about our range? So we're taking smallest number away from the biggest number. Yep. Eight. Eight, good. 10 minus two is eight. Um, median next. What could the middle number be? So we've got an email number. So we don't have a certain middle number one. So when we're going back through, we go through right, three spots this way and three spots that way. So our median is in the middle there. What maybe number is in the middle of three and five do we think? Four. Four, why? Because it's halfway between three and five. Good, That's exactly right. Three plus one is four, five minus one is four. And now our mean, so as I said, to work, to work out the average, we add all the numbers up and then divide by how many there are. So I just want you to quickly just find out what our total sum of our numbers is. Do you want to have an answer for me? 30. Good. So it equals 30. And we've got six numbers there, so we're dividing it by six. What's, how many times does six go into 30? Five. Five times, good. So that means our mean, our average is five. All right, so now we're just gonna go on to our first activity. So today we are using lollies for our maths lesson. So pull the contents onto your table.
and then start ordering them in colors, and you can put them in order if you like, from smallest to largest. So once we've done that, in terms, Megan, you start. Uh, just tell me what you got for the mean. Four. Four? What did you get for the medium? Five. What did you get for the mode? Five. And the range? Three. And David, what did you get for your mean? Uh, four. Yeah, medium? Four. Mode? Four. Range? Five. Five. Oh, that's solid. Alright, so here we can see this graph compares your two results. So David, you are the orange line, and Megan, you're the blue line. Um, so you can see here that the mean for both of you is the same. The median, uh, Megan, you got five, and David, you got four. Mode is exactly the same. You got five, and you got four, and the range, five and three. So now we're just going to be doing another activity. <laughs> okay, quite a fun place. We're going to be playing a game. Who wants to be a millionaire? Question number one. What is the mode for the following set of numbers? One, three, uh, one two, three, three and five. Is it one, two, three or five? And um, what did you guys get? C3. C3. Good job. On to the next question. What is the range for the following set of numbers? One, two, three, three, and five. Is it five, four, three, or two? What did you guys get? B. Yeah, B. B? Awesome. Can you tell me how you got that? Well, the biggest number is 5 and the smallest number is 1. So 5 minus 1 is 4. Awesome. Question 3. What is the median for the following set of numbers? 1, 2, 3, 3 and 5. Is it 1, 2, 3 or 5? Can someone remind me what the median is? Median is? Median is the number in the middle. So what's the number in the middle? Three. Three. Awesome job, guys. Question four. What is the mean for the following set of numbers? One, 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 or nine? And nine. Is it four, three, two, or one? Did we get guys? B. I got A. A? Can you tell me how? I wasn't sure, so I just took a guess at one of them. I forgot what the mean was. Uh, okay, Charlotte, how did you get four? Um, oh, three, I mean. So I added the numbers together. So nine plus one plus one plus one mm -hmm. is 12, 
and then there's four numbers, so 12 divided by 4 is 3. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yeah. Do you understand that, David? Yes, I understand. Question 5. What's the median of the following set of numbers? 6, 2, 1, 4, and 5. Is it 1, 4, 5, or 6? Who's got the answer? Is it B4? Charlotte, is it 1? So A? Oh, no. Can you explain that, please, David? Well, you have to put the numbers in order from the smallest to largest first to find the median, the middle number. So the numbers would move around, so would they? Go, yeah, so it goes one, then two, then four, then five, then six, and four was the one in the middle. Mm -hmm. So they change around. Question six. What is the range for the following set of numbers? 100, 900, 800, and 500. Is it? 100, 450, 500, or 800? Can anyone tell me what they got? B. I got B as well. D, 800. Awesome, can you please explain how you got that? Because 500 take 100 is in 800. Yeah, but like the last question, you got to put them in order. Ah, these are a bunch of smart <laughs> cookies. <laughs> Question seven. Which set of numbers does not have a median of five? A, B, C, or D? I think I go. You do? What do you think? I think it's C. I got C too. Oh, good job, guys. Question eight. Which set of numbers does not have a median of five? But we just did. A, B, C, or D? does not have a mean of 5? A, B, C, or D? What did we get? I got A. A? Can you tell me how you got A? Well, 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 20, so the middle number is not 20. David, what did you get? I got C. C? Good job. Halfway there, nearly a million dollars. One more question. What is the mode for the following set of numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Is it 3, 4, 3.5, or there is no mode? What did you get? D, there is no mode. Good job. Here's a million dollars. Thank you for playing, guys. Now we're just going to conclude the lesson. Okay, we're just going to go over what we learned for today. So, firstly, what was the mean? Yes. The average of all the numbers. Good, very good. So average of the numbers. What about the median? The middle number. The middle number. In ascending order. Yes, good. It needs to be in ascending order, yes. otherwise it doesn't yes. work. Uh, and if it was a mode, what was the mode? The most occurring? Yeah, most occurring number. And lastly, the range. It's the difference between the biggest number and the smallest number. 
Good, so we got all four of them down pat. So we've learnt to distinguish the mean, median, map range and mode. And do you both feel confident that you can successfully work out mean, median, map range and mode when given a set of numbers? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Um, what about some, how can we use this in real life examples? What are some other ways? Yeah. Um, we can count different types of lollies. You could, you can count different types of lollies. What other data sets can we use? Mm -hmm. Fruits. Fruits, yeah. What about also like maybe different cars coming over the street yeah. outside the school? We can maybe. collect data on the people in the class. Yeah, good, people in the class. We can collect data on that. <laughs> Even ages in the class, we could work that out. All right. Well, next week, what we'll be learning about is, well, next lesson, sorry, we're going to try and make some of our own graphs. You saw we had one, I helped one with one on the board, and yeah, we're going to try and make our own ones next week from the data that I give you.